Egypt has more than 12 colossal megaprojects happening, with some almost complete. Today we will take a close look in detail at some of these magnificent, immense projects that include a whole new $60 billion capital city, a $29 billion nuclear power plant, an $11 billion petrochemicals complex, and the world's longest $5 billion artificial river. What Egypt is doing is truly remarkable. They are literally renovating and rejuvenating the whole country, which will look very different in the next few years. Let's start with the largest and most expensive mega project, the new administrative capital. Egypt has a problem. Its capital Cairo has a population of 22 million people and rising. While nearly a third of it is simply unsustainable or random buildings in completely messy, poor and disorganized areas. In a nutshell, a third of the capital is crumbling fast and unsuitable for life. So the Egyptian government built and is already relocating to a whole new city that has yet to be named and is planning to take with it as many as 7 million Cairo residents by 2026 in order to make Cairo more sustainable and to literally begin several mega projects to rebuild large swaths of it. They call it the new administrative capital and they are accepting name suggestions, but it is likely to be called either New Egypt or New Cairo. It costs nearly $60 billion to build, and that is only for phase one, since there are two more phases on the horizon to expand it to the point that it would accommodate up to 50 million people by 2050. The new city is designed to be sustainable, spread out, spacious, green, safe, technologically advanced, and inclusive. As many as 10 million current Cairo residents could end up living in this new paradise by 2030. Plenty of land in this new city is also being offered to major real estate developers who are willing to construct new futuristic and sustainable residential developments. It is located about 45 kilometers east of Cairo, which technically speaking makes it a satellite of Cairo. Construction began in 2015 and is almost complete. Phase one included construction on an area of approximately 700 square kilometers and is designed to quadruple, if not more in size by 2050. Officials talk about it as an economic, business, and government operations necessity, but in reality, it is also designed to save Cairo and Alexandria and take them back to their former glory when they were not so crowded and crumbling by turning them into futuristic cities that are also rich with Egypt's unparalleled ancient culture, heritage, and history. So far, phase one of the city, which is almost complete, features quite impressive and very neat modern government buildings, 30 skyscrapers, including the iconic tower, which is Africa's highest, a central business district, a diplomatic quarter for embassies, numerous parks, an artificial river, 21 residential districts, opera and theaters, artificial lakes, a 93,440 seat stadium, 40,000 hotel rooms, a massive amusement park, 90 square kilometers of solar energy farms, an international airport, and of course, a fast electric railway link with Cairo. It is being built as a smart, modern, super safe city with over 6,000 cameras monitoring the streets. The authorities will be using AI to monitor water use and waste management, among other things. And of course, it needs plenty of electricity. But do not worry, Egypt is an exporter of electricity and is building the region's first third generation nuclear reactor called the El Daba nuclear power plant. Egypt's electricity sources are quite diverse, however, it does not possess a nuclear power plant. Since 1983, the country has been contemplating the construction of a nuclear power plant in the El Daba Metro Governorate, about 320 kilometers northwest of Cairo. As an electricity exporter, Egypt has plans to supply Europe with green electricity via submarine cables as it is already doing with Jordan. For Egypt, it simply made sense to add nuclear power to its impressive green power portfolio. In July 2022, the construction of the El Daba nuclear power plant began. The project has a hefty price tag of $29 billion. Luckily, Egypt managed to negotiate with Russia, which is constructing the facility a reasonable payment plan with low interest. The facility is a water-water energetic plant that features four VVER-1200 reactors designed by the Russian state-owned giant Rosatom. This reactor design has been refined to optimize fuel efficiency. Specifications include a $1,200 per kilowatt overnight construction cost, 
54-month planned construction time, a 60-year design lifetime at 90% capacity factor, requires about 35% fewer operational personnel than its predecessor, the VVER-1000, and features some very intriguing safety technologies. The plant also has a gross and net thermal efficiency of 37.5% and 34.8% and has 4,800 megawatts of nuclear power generation capacity, which, needless to say, is a lot of electricity. The company Korea Hydro and Nuclear Power has also begun contracting 82 ancillary buildings and structures such as the turbine buildings and related structures. Meanwhile, the American giant General Electric will provide the basic design of four conventional islands at the site, as well as supply four steam turbine generator sets for the facility. Since we are talking about energy, we might as well cover Egypt's new colossal, one-of-a-kind, $11 billion petrochemicals complex, dubbed the Tahrir Petrochemical Complex. This facility marks yet another notch in Egypt's program to become a strong, emerging market. Just like the El Daba nuclear power plant, it is aimed at reinforcing the country's future as an advanced economy with zero trade deficit. You might think that petrochemical refineries are boring or bound to become obsolete as the world moves towards renewables, but the truth is far from that. Petrochemical refineries are the backbone of numerous industries. They produce endless byproducts that pretty much go into everything around you, from your toothpaste, medicine, and car tires, to construction materials such as cement, paint, and you name it. The Tahrir Petrochemicals Complex is being built by the company Carbon Holdings in collaboration with several Egyptian corporations and will begin operations in mid to late 2024. It is located in the northern outskirts of Ain Sokna in the Suez Governorate, lying on the western shore of the Red Sea's Gulf of Suez. This facility is not Egypt's first since the country is already a heavy regional weight in the petrochemicals industry. However, it is an essential project because Egypt just cannot stop finding oil and gas. In 2022 alone, Egypt made 53 new oil and gas discoveries. The new discoveries include 42 oil wells and 11 gas wells in the Western Desert, the Suez Gulf, the Mediterranean Sea, and Nile Delta, and is set to find more. Did you know that Egypt is the biggest oil refiner in Africa in terms of the number of operational refineries? This new complex will take Egypt to a whole new level that is comparable to some of the Arab Gulf states. The complex occupies a 7 square kilometer area and is close to Ain Sokna port. Once completed, it would create around 50,000 direct jobs and 25,000 indirect job opportunities. The complex is split into three separate sites. The first site is where the naphtha cracker facility is located. The second site is dedicated to facilities that produce associated oil derivatives. The third site has three polyethylene units. Another separate production line will produce ammonium nitrate. And finally, the complex will also feature two polypropylene production facilities. Since such facilities consume lots of water and power, the complex will also feature a 3,800 cubic meter water desalination facility to treat seawater coming from the Red Sea and a 300 megawatt power plant to ensure a continuous supply of electricity. Another amazing mega project Egypt is currently building is the new Delta project, which includes the world's longest artificial river River, thousands of square kilometers of farms, residential areas, the region's largest wastewater treatment plant, two power stations, hundreds of kilometers of roads, and you name it. This $5.5 billion project aims to achieve one main quite intriguing goal, which is to turn 12,000 square kilometers of Egypt's harsh western desert into a lush green oasis a mega farm. We recently did a whole video about this new Delta project where we detailed everything. So please make sure to go check it out now because it is simply amazing and very impressive. The video is titled, Why Egypt is Building the World's Largest Artificial River. You will love the details. Thank you for watching and please do subscribe, like, share, hit the bell icon, and feel free to share your thoughts with us in the comments section.